Hi guys, Nash here. Today I'm going to talk to you about low carbohydrate diet and who can benefit from it. As you all know, internet is full of different types of uh, advices and uh, you have probably come across loads of people who uh, promote high carbohydrate diet and advise you to go and do that because this is the real bodybuilding diet. This is the diet that will help you build big muscles, uh, store loads of glycogen and at the same time keep lean. And these diets, are, as they say, uh, the one that will allow you to eat anywhere from three to five, six hundred grams of carbohydrates a day, uh, remaining lean in the process of, of muscle building. But uh, I can tell you this is true only for a small minority of people. I would say no more than 10% of people globally can afford to eat that many uh, carbohydrates and still remain lean. Uh, I personally belong to the majority, which is around 85-90% of people anyway, and uh, I cannot eat that many carbohydrates without getting fat. So in order to skip lean and also uh, perform well in the gym, I have to go on a low carbohydrate diet. Now the, the reasons for that are usually uh, mentioned to be fast and slow metabolism. So people would say, well, if you have fast metabolism, you can afford to eat more carbohydrates because you will be burning them more efficiently. While if you have slow metabolism, you, you are not going to burn uh, all these carbohydrates efficiently and therefore they will be stored as fat. But I don't really like that answer because I think that the answer is somewhere else. And the answer actually lies in insulin sensitivity. So insulin sensitivity uh, decides about how much carbohydrates you can eat. Individuals with high insulin sensitivity can afford to eat more carbohydrate di uh, carbohydrates in their diets. So high insulin sensitivity means that your cell, uh, your recept insulin receptors on the cells, muscle cells, uh, are more sensitive to insulin and therefore you will be producing less insulin. And that will allow you to eat more carbohydrates because with less insulin you will be storing that, those carbohydrates in glycogen and also that, uh, that those carbohydrates will be available for your energy requirements. Now, if your uh, insulin receptors on the muscle cells are not very sensitive, you will be producing more insulin. Now, more insulin means that uh, you will be most likely storing most of those carbohydrates as fat because insulin works quickly and takes your carbohydrates either in glycogen stores or in the fat cells. Now, if your glycogen stores are full, which is most of the time case for most of the people, the only other area where insulin can deposit uh, all these extra carbohydrates in the form of glucose are fat cells. Now, the fat cells, when they receive glucose, they turn them into, into uh, fat. And this is how they enlarge. And this is how you uh, develop uh, bigger fat stores. Now, what are we going to do with this? So if if you are the one, you, you have to experiment, you, you can't tell uh, how insulin sensitive you are, but if you are, if you eat carbohydrates four or five times a day and you are not in good shape and you have considerable amount of body fat, obviously you cannot tolerate that body fat, so you are not that insulin sensitive. That doesn't mean they are, that you are insulin resistant, yet, but you may get there and eventually develop uh, diabetes type 2. Now, if that is the case, the first thing to do is to lower your carbohydrates. So, if you were eating five, six times a day, carbohydrates in every meal, maybe 50 grams of carbohydrates, I may advise you to eat carbohydrates around your workout, so before your training session and after your training session, and maybe the last time, uh, last part of the day. So, instead of eating it six times a day, eat them three times a day. So there will be around 150 grams of carbs per day. Keep your protein as it was 200, 250 and uh, fat maybe around 50 to 100 grams a day and monitor how the situation develop. So develop. 
So if you start losing body fat, so obviously this is the type of diet that will be, that will help you lose your body fat. Uh, if you are struggling with energy and you are losing weight with a low carbohydrate diet, obviously you need to increase your carbohydrates. Again, I'm saying this is the uh, very small minority of people can afford to do that. And they can eat three, 400 grams of carbs a day without any problems. But for the majority, including myself, uh, anywhere around 100, 150 grams of carbs a day will be more than, than you need as I need. So people who are less insulin sensitive should eat less carbohydrates, period. Now, what about women? Well, I often say to my clients and when I, in my talks, in the seminars, I say that women and carbohydrates are not compatible. They don't go together. Meaning that women should really stay away from carbohydrates. And why is that? Well, first of all, carbohydrates can be stored either in glycogen or in, uh, or in a body fat. Uh, if your glycogen stores are full, then your, most of the carbohydrates that you eat will be stored as body fat. Now, if your glycogen stores are big, as if you are a bodybuilder who is like 110, 120 kg, kgs, somebody with the big muscles, muscles are the, uh, the, the stores, the storage for uh, carbohydrates, and also your liver is obviously much bigger than the liver of your girlfriend, you will be storing much more carbohydrates than your girlfriend who is maybe 60, 65 kgs, so the, 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 she has smaller body mass and also has a smaller liver. So the storage for storing for glycogen in the female body is much smaller than in the male's body. So majority of women will have problems with carbohydrates. Therefore, three or four meals, predominantly uh, made of protein, some fat and uh, uh, fibrous vegetables will be everything that I advise women to eat. Occasionally you can eat a bit of rice or some sweet potato here and there, but not on a regular basis. And uh, if, you have, uh, if you have problems with body fat, try a low-carbohydrate diet, I'm talking to women, and see how they work. Now, consistency is obviously the key. The, that diet is not going to make massive changes in few days, but you will have to remain on that diet for a few weeks, maybe a few months to see the difference. All my female clients who competed in uh, fitness, in um, bikini or, or bodybuilding, ended up on zero carb diet for the last two to three months before the show in order to get rid of that stubborn body fat. So once again, majority of people can benefit from low carbohydrate diet while minority, which are extremely insulin sensitive, can afford to eat higher amounts of carbohydrate in their diets without getting fat. So I think you've got an idea now uh, who should eat more carbohydrates and who should eat less. Unfortunately, a majority of you will end up uh, benefiting more from low carbohydrate diet as uh, uh, I do. So including myself, uh, let's enjoy our chicken, fish, eggs, steaks and uh, a bit of uh, rice and that will be everything you can eat in order to keep uh, lean. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.